Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, just welcome, I appreciate you being here. My name is Chris, I run Dark Blue Charters in Manistee. Uh, feel free to check out the website if you'd like, but uh, this is my charter boat that we're working on in this video. Uh, it's a 1983 TR 31 Open. Uh, you can see in this video, this is from last time, we were taking off the carburetors, we're sending them down to lakeland auto and marine in port clinton ohio he has a youtube channel i'll put a link down below you can actually watch him rebuild these carburetors and send them back to me but in this video we're going to be pulling off the intake on this starboard side motor because of a small oil leak that we discovered over last season it was making a mess we're going to take that off replace the gasket get everything put back into specs and uh, get it ready for next season so stick around should be a really interesting video all right now we're running that Okay, so we got the motor set at top dead center now. I'm gonna pull this cap off. We got uh, got the rotor marked, so we know where that's supposed to be. Put it in my parts tray over here. Capo. And mark your rotor position straight across, straight over here. Okay. Good idea. Okay, got it. Yep, that's a good idea. All right. And now we can just go ahead and pull off the cap and then we'll drain the coolant out. Okay. There she goes. Gums. I suppose I should take these wires off. Three eighths. You must have pulled the wires off. I'm there. thinking, yep, that would be the best thing. Three eighths. Oh. That was off, huh? <laughs> That's what you get for listening to a blind day. <laughs> I would have guessed three H too. Don't feel bad. <laughs> All right, I pop this right out and turn it this way. You just set it up here. Yeah. Okay, now let's get some antifreeze out of it. We'll start by draining the tank. There should be a pack pack over there. Okay. And then we'll drain the block after that. Sounds good. They're going to stay all right? Yeah, if not, I'll get some zip ties and set them aside here. Oh, well, how much I can do about that? Freeze, it's cold. Yeah, but it's still liquid. That's a good sign. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so update. We got the uh, drain plug open. The antifreeze is coming out. Some on the floor, some in a bucket. <laughs> that was not uh, crystal clean, that's for sure. But uh, got the, uh, the rotors off. And we got that all marked, so now we're going to start pulling the uh, thermostat and start getting this intake off here. All right. Mine shall stay right there nicely. Perfect. out of the way yep we'll probably start with pulling off the back one so you can pull this cable out of the way get this bracket out of the way yeah. and just pull all the bolts off sounds good to me that 16 set you had yeah just roll around it where's that uh, air gun 
<laughs> there she is. <laughs> Boy, I like air guns. That's what I was saying, those uh, 45 degree drivers, impact drivers, yep. battery powered, yep. amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right. Oops, sorry about that. That's plenty. Well, that's engine work for you. Antifreeze everywhere, parts everywhere. Getting it done though. Hit her. You guys didn't get to see the uh, grand moment, but she popped out of there. And uh, hand this up now. Oh, there you go, sir. Take a look here at the engine. Hey, grab your vacuum. Oh, she's pretty clean. For old. The Rotella, man. Yeah. I gotta say, yeah, that Rotella T4, that stuff is such good oil. Just out of curiosity, here you go. I'm actually for the other end. <laughs> so, what is all this build up in here? You can see it on both sides. Yeah, that's actually from using dissimilar antifreezes in it. Okay. Because this had the red in it, and probably at one time it had green in it. Okay. That's just the. Uh, Yep, you just want to stick. Well, these right here, they're better off with the green. But if we get that cleaned out of there, we'll actually just suck that out of there. Yeah. Yep. yep. All right, so the intake's off. Uh, we got the towels laid down on the uh, lifters just to make sure nothing gets down in there. Brian says that the, there's a place close enough that we can run and get a new gasket right now. So we're going to go ahead and get these uh, this old gasket off here, clean this whole thing up. And, uh, yeah, I definitely see there's some, I don't know if you can see that or not, but two different antifreezes I'm sure got used at some time. And you get that, uh, that chemical, that chemical reaction between the two of them where 
That's why it's a really good idea to stick with a one antifreeze. And with an older boat like this, you just never know what's been used in the past and what you're, if you're using now um, coincides with what's been used in the past. So we're going to get this all cleaned up and make sure that uh, make sure that this is always, you know, the same antifreeze is always used just to avoid that problem in the future. Yeah, coming along. Definitely coming along for a for a 1983 motor. She looks pretty solid, uh, other than a few. <laughs> we all show our age. Uh, all show our age after 40 plus or close to 40 years, don't we? Anyway, I'm liking what I'm seeing. This is a this is a good thing to get accomplished. trying to let the wheel do the work it's trying not to give it too much That's right there's a little bit right there. Oh, yep. They hide the shadows. Oh. What do you think? I like it. Better than it was. That's it. All right, so we got uh, all the gasket off, all the uh, gasket sealant, Permatex, whatever it was. Now we're gonna run down, get a new gasket, get this thing thrown back on. Okay, what we're gonna do is we need a bead of silicone right here on all of these corners. Just go about a quarter inch, both directions, and all four corners. Okay. you want to do is throw another bead of silicone on the top of that in all four corners. Right. Batteries are starting to get low on the old girl there. Yeah, I think so too. Good. 
good. Take that bracket out of the way and just sort of reach straight out. Got her. Oh, nice and light. Let's find it. Just stick your hand right in the center. There you go. It's one of the easiest things. Forward. I see. Yeah. I see bolt holes. Okay. Just make sure your gas getting poked out anywhere. Yeah. Slide it just a hair forward if you can. Get her? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, so we're wrapping it up right here. Thanks to Brian. Everybody give him a thumbs up. Thanks for the big help and for the help throughout this whole off season. Carbs are off. The intake manifold gasket has been changed. Uh, everything's back on the way it should be. We got the uh, coil back on, the cap and the rotor. Um, not the coil, but the coil wires, the cap and the rotor. The uh, temperature sending units all hooked back up. Thermostats all back in place. All the bolts are good. I'm sure there's going to be some mechanics out there that uh, run me up and down every which way on over the probably over the way we did things. That's fine. We're not uh, we're not uh, master mechanics. Well, he is. I'm not. But uh, if you got any comments, please leave them down below. I'm happy to hear them. And we're going to move on from here in the next few weeks. We got a lot more projects coming. So come back and check them out.